Racehorns.com, Pro 2's 9 and 10, free class tutorials, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. Inbox. Hey, how y'all doing YouTube? It's Whitney Russell with DS Horns. Today's video is going to be on the interface that's needed for Pro Tools 9 and 10. What I'm going to go over is basically just a general, you have different ones that you can use. I'm going to use the M-Audio uh, Mobile Pre. Uh, you might have a different one, but I'm just going to show you how this one works. All right. Uh, right here, let's go ahead and get started. This right here is where you're going to plug in your keyboard. Uh, you have one channel, two channels. You can plug in your microphone um, or your keyboard or guitar, bass, and one or two. This right here, clip. This is where you're going to see how hot your channel is. It shouldn't go in the red. If it starts going into the red, then it's too hot. You want to turn it down just a little bit. Okay, you have a clip for one and you have a clip for two. Uh, there's going also going to be uh, inputs and outputs on the back. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. This is your headphones so that you'll use this to basically hear. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the back of this is the back of how it looks you have an output you got inputs now the inputs are quarter inch jack they're gonna be basically for your keyboard space you can record one and two channels you can record two channels at once these are your outputs where if you want to listen to what you're doing you might want to plug this into your monitors to your system to your home system to your studio speakers this is your USB where you're going to plug it into the computer and this right here is a phantom power and that's for when you have a microphone sometimes you have a microphone if you have a good microphone you usually need phantom power so you're going to want to turn that on if you don't have a microphone that doesn't need phantom power turn that off and different inboxes or interfaces they look different they might have different channels they might have four or five different channels but basically this is how all of them work this is how you're going to get to record on the Pro Tools you got to have one of these and you got to plug it in every time you plug in the Pro Tools or it won't work and that's a real quick simple inbox for Pro Tools 9 and 10 uh, if you have any questions or if you want to view my other uh, tutorials beginning intermediate or advanced please go to dshorns.com if you need a horn section on your track horn solos piano chords piano solos or help mastering your track contact me at facebook.com backslash ds.horns or at dshorns at yahoo.com and please make sure to send me a friend request on Facebook for Pro Tools updates and free plugins.